Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special treat for you. I am doing a bathroom tour video. I thought, you know what, I might as well go ahead and just get this out there. Um, I was clean, doing a little spring cleaning today and I thought, well, my bathroom is pretty much spotless right now. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get this rolling for you guys I hope you guys enjoy it you know I live in an apartment I have my own bathroom and um it is how I love it I love the way it is right now and I hope you guys enjoy the video bye I would like to welcome you guys to my bathroom and get ready for the tour So here is the inside of my shower. The first thing I have here, and I'm actually going to stand up here, is a Wild Madagascar Vanilla Body Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. I really, really like that smell. Um, the next one is my Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist Conditioner. That is one of the only conditioners I use, and it is a holy grail item. I absolutely love it. And then it's my Dove Go Fresh Pomegranate and Lemon Vervania Shower Gel. This stuff smells amazing. And I really love the uh, Dove Go Fresh range. Then I have my Big Sexy Hair Shampoo, which is just in there. I use this every once in a while to kind of give my hair a little bit more volume because my hair is very fine and it does not really have much volume to it. So this is been helping that and then I just have a almond shower gel from the body shop by itself is just my Joyco K-Pack shampoo I use this every once in a while it is really good at cleansing the hair and it's just a really really good shampoo Then hiding out over here are a few fun shower gels slash bubble bath gels I suppose um, the one in back is from Victoria's Secret it's just the sexy little things Noir, it's the scented bath and shower cream that smells really, really good. And then I have just two of the Bee Delectable and the Beauty and the um, the range is from Cake Beauty and you can find that at Kohl's. It is just the body wash, but it makes really fun bubbles and this stuff smells absolutely amazing. The um, I have the uh, lemon and cream and then the coconut and cream. And these legit smell like cream pies. Um, and I really love the way this stuff makes me feel. It has coconut oil and aloe vera in it. And it's just, these are really good. And they're pretty cheap too. So I suggest anybody that wants to try something new out um, and have yourself uh, smell like a pie for a while, you should definitely check those out. They have a whole line of products. So here, this is just my little caddy. Um, I'm actually in the market to get a bigger one, um, but the, I have my Garnier um, Nourishing Cleansing Oil, which I really, really like. I have my Skin Timid Strawberry and Tangerine Twist um, Shave Gel. I have my Queen um, Helen Pomegranate and Raspberry Facial Scrub. And then I have my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. I also have a couple of razors. I have a sample of the um, Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Shampoo that I tend to take that when I travel. And then I have a Molten Brown Body Wash that was a sample as well. And then on the bottom corner, I have my Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep Bubble Bath slash body wash this stuff is really really good i like to use this at night the smell of it is absolutely amazing it's orange and cedar wood it smells really good and then over here on the side i have my nioxin which is a kit that i have purchased um, for thinning hair um i have a genetic thing with my hair um so i'm trying this out um so far so good um, let's just see if it kind of makes my hair a little bit more fuller and thicker, but I um, am trying the Nioxin out. I'm probably going to do a review over this, um, but we'll see how it lasts. Okay, so now on to my actual sink and counter space. I just have these really pretty flowers with some cute little bubbles in them that kind of tie in with the color of the bathroom. And then here's the sink. 
I have my Bath and Body Works um, Kitchen Lemon Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. I love this kind of hand soap. I use the Bath and Body Works Foaming Hand Soap all the time. Toothpaste and toothbrush, mouthwash. Then I have this little um, jar of samples. This thing is chocked full. I've got some fresh Buxom Clinique uh, Origins. Lume, uh, NARS, Fresh, all kinds of stuff. Then there's this little jar of soaps. This is a random um, jar. Some of these, these um, four right here are from Lush, um, Godmother, Rockstar, and Snowcake. This one is one that I purchased from a little um, organic store here. It is peppermint and pink Himalayan sea salt. I haven't really used this yet, but it smells really, really good. And then up here are just some of the moisturizers that I use right out of the shower. I have Vaseline Aloe Fresh and then my little body butter that is, um, what is this one? I forget. Oh, it's the orange one, Satsuma. It's the Satsuma scent. And then I just have some cotton cotton buds and some Q-tips. And then I have this three compartment container. The first one in here is apparently a pair of tweezers, all kinds of little hair things, bows, flowers, hair ties, all that good stuff. This next one just houses my Sayasti Cucumber facial towels, which I use literally every day. And then this one has kind of face items in it. I have a Sephora rose mask. I've got a sample of the sea salt body scrub from Lush. I have an H2O eye oasis. I've got a couple of the um, Nug um, face masks. This is a coconut milk eye anti puff. And this is a little sample of LA Fresh travel makeup wipes. And this is just your typical medicine cabinet, deodorant, all kinds of pain pills, dry shampoo, deodorant, baby power, powder, and then julep mask, mydol, tension headache, medicine, allergy pills, you know, your generic, you know, medicine you cabinet. Close the door, I have this little shelving unit um, full of extra things that I kind of don't really have storage for. Unfortunately, you guys are not going to take a peek under my sink because it is complete and utter chaos. It is pretty much just backup products of things that I already have, things I'm going to try out, lots of little lotion, lots of Bath and Body Works things that is just too much of a hassle. So I'm going to get started over here. I've just got two little candles, one right there and one right there. I have my Rose Jam Shower Gel from... Lush as well as Snow Fairy. And then in the middle, I've just got the Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Away Mask. I got the Origin Checks and Balances face wash that I love. And then I have my um, Get Your Glow Brightening uh, Peel Off Face Mask in Papaya and Citrus. I love the Freeman and the Formula 10.0.6 items. Um, they're really, really good. Then directly under that, I've got my BB Texturizing Hair Undressing Cream, which is a sample size. I've got my um, L'Oreal Deep Conditioning Treatment. And then I just have a little of the Dr. Dennis Gross um, Folic Acid and Retinol Brightening Solution that I do use sometimes. And then over here, I have my Cora's Wild Rose Daily Brightening Buff Cleanser, my Sephora Triple Action Water Cleanser, a little bubble gum lip scrub, and my Moroccan Argan Oil for my hair. And then I have this Toning Neck Cream from Exuviance, I believe. I have not used this yet, but I think I'm going to very shortly. And then over here is more face items. I've got my little sample set that I got from Origins. I've got the high potency, high potency vitamins, the Gen Z night cream, and the Gen Z moisturizer. And then I have this little Cora's Wild Rose um, Sleeping Facial. It's a really, really thick night cream. I have my Clarins um, Lotus Oil and then my uh, Caudalie Beauty Elixir.